Hello, it's been a while. <laughs> what? Yeah, we were staying at our parents' house for a couple months for the holidays, yes. but now we're back in New Mexico. What are we going to talk about today, Jason? We figured we, we kind of dropped off making videos for a while. Today we would start with a hundred things that we have learned about living in a van. How have we learned already a hundred things? I'm saying what they're thinking. Oh. Yeah. This Let's is real do it. natural. And... <laughs> I think that's good. We'll make that work. Okay. Buy small stuff. Big stuff doesn't fit. Are you wanting me to elaborate more? I mean, that's what I was planning on doing with the ones I did. Driving isn't horrible. I used to think it was, and I think it's because I was either driving to or from work, or I was driving in the middle of heavy traffic in the middle of the city. But it turns out when you're not doing either of those two things, driving's actually pretty fun and relaxing. Watch for low hanging branches. You or more exactly, you can set off the propane alarm when using tons of your dry shampoo. When someone's feet stink, we all have a bad time. Are you taking a video? Yes. Your feet smell so bad. They smell, they smell so bad. We've made a mistake. Oh God, there's like stuff on it. Truck stops are a great place to park. They are usually bigger and cleaner than normal gas stations and they have better amenities, they have showers, they have more food, uh, cool trucking accessories that we also use. Like we have, we added mirrors to our flip downs because we didn't have mirrors so we couldn't see what we would look like while we drove. Almost every Walmart has an RV section. You can sleep overnight in a lot of Walmart parking lots, but not all. So it's always best to call ahead and ask the manager first. The Walmart app can tell you exactly what aisle everything that you're looking for is on. A lot of dust gets in the van. Spills happen. Jason spills a lot of stuff. You will use a lot of paper towels. A small vacuum can come in really handy. Hey! Hey! What? Can Thumper be in the video? Sometimes they leave food by the bed, and it is very easy to steal. With the van, you always have everything you need right on hand, which is really nice. You can just go back to your car whenever you need, and you've got your whole bathroom and bedroom and we're stopping walking because the dog is stopping walking. Hot showers are rare and also become the best feeling in the entire world. Especially if you haven't showered for a week. <laughs> we haven't showered for a week. Upper, we want to go back this way. We only go where the dog wants to go. You will use a headlamp all the time. Do not keep it in the very back of the van with all of your camping stuff. You will definitely overpack when you start out. Boondocking isn't that scary. Plan ahead but keep it flexible in case you discover a new mountain range on your way to the next place you were going to. Traveling slow is the way to go, especially when you have the gas mileage of this van. Which brings me to, gas is expensive, we do not get great gas mileage. We started with a car seat for Thumper. He doesn't want to ride in it. He just sits in whoever's lap is in the passenger seat. If I whine and shake for long enough, I can get whatever I want. It is important that the dog gets time to run around without a leash or tie-outs, so we visit a whole lot of dog parks. When you're cooking, you should take the batteries out of your fire alarm, especially if they installed the fire alarm right above your stove. State and park passes can be totally worth the money if you use them. When you're driving, make sure you and your partner agree on a split between what you're listening to. Sometimes you both like completely different things, whether that's audiobooks, podcasts, or music. Tamla never gets to decide what we listen to in the van. When you wash your hair, you don't get to dry your hair. If something in the van seems like it's broken or not working, try the on switch. Have your camping stove accessible because you will run out of propane, even if you think you're not going to run out of propane. The U.S. is huge, and so is Texas. Uh, setting up your campsite at night after the sun has gone down is really a pain in the butt. If you keep your rig simple, like we do, we don't have any uh, slide outs and we don't have any, what else do people have? Like chickens to lay eggs for you to make food. You said what else do people have? 
Some people have chickens. Have you come across anyone with a chicken? Yeah, we know people with chickens. I meant camping. No. I have a lot more awareness of where my body parts are all the time because we've hit our heads and knees against every part of the van many times at this point. If there's a dark spot in the van, add a light. Light! You can get things mailed to either the post office or to Amazon lockers. Some dogs are not friendly. You sleep well knowing that the dog will tell you if anyone is outside the van. He will also tell you if any squirrel is outside of the van or if like the wind blows. Also, some dogs are wild pigs. The mountains are really, really beautiful. We miss drive throughs because you could just drive through and in the van, you can't just drive through. Download movies and TV onto your devices when you're out somewhere that has Wi-Fi so that you can watch them later when you have no internet where you are. Everyone wants to know if we've heard of Gabby Petito and just what do we think about that? This is me personally, but I don't really miss working. A lot of things we said this is a nice to have are things we didn't need and things we ended up putting in storage last month. We don't wash our clothes anymore until they smell bad. Really, yeah. really, 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 really bad. We were worried when we started that dumping the gray and black water tanks would be pretty gross. If you go on YouTube, you can watch some disaster videos. You can. Oh! Uh. Oh! It's really, really not so bad. They yell at me when I take their socks and eat them. Also, Dad sleeps in his underwear even when it's freezing outside. Having a bathroom in your van is really great. Don't poop in it. I poop in it a lot. Somehow everyone's first question to us is, have you tried going to the bathroom while the other person's driving? We have not. No. No, you don't do that. If you're going to park your van in a hot, humid place for a month, make sure you totally drain the fresh water tank. Oops. A lot of rest stops have dump stations. I really miss being able to play my board game collection, but there's a ton of really great digital board game apps for the phone and the computer that let me take my hobby on the road with me. There's a website called Harvest Host where there's a whole bunch of breweries and wineries and just people's driveways that will let you park there. And it's like a hundred bucks a year and it is worth the money. We are not sponsored by Harvest Host, but we could be. It's worth it having two different data plans. We're mostly on Verizon, but I've still got AT&T as a backup on my phone because sometimes you're in a spot where there's no coverage of one, but you still got the other so that you can look at Google Maps or make a phone call or whatever you need to do. Shared apps are super helpful for planning, like notes apps and uh, sh for making plans or for shopping lists or anything like that. You can actually have two SIM cards in a single phone. So I have both Verizon and AT&T in this phone. We have a lot of favorite apps that we use. Some of them we knew before, but Audible, Overcast for podcasts, Libby for free audiobooks, um, iOverlander, which is invaluable. And there's a cool one called Seek that lets you take pictures of animals and plants in nature and it can identify them, which is pretty cool. The parking brake will get stuck sometimes and you kind of have to do this uh, rock back and forth thing to release it. RV antifreeze is not the same thing as normal car antifreeze. Everything is edible if you eat it. When it's hot outside, it's hot in the van. And when it's cold outside, it is cold in the van. Hotels are your occasional friend. We stay most nights in the van, but man, it feels good when you get an Airbnb every once in a while. It's really hard to recycle. You'd think that like a lot of state parks and national parks especially would have big recycling areas, but they don't. Your friends can be hotels. Just find someone who's letting you, lets you crash on their floor for a few nights. A lot of other people are doing exactly what we're doing. In some places, we were trying to find public showers and rec centers are really, really good. I am not supposed to growl at Border Patrol. We've gotten really, 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 really good at washing dishes with just a little bit of water. I growl at Border Patrol. USB charge everything you can. We don't have an inverter in our van, but that means USB chargers work for everything all the time. Immediately after you clean, there will be more dust in the van. Pick a few favorite foods and make sure you always have those in your van. Pack multifunctional clothing. 
National parks, for the most part, unfortunately don't like dogs. A lot of people in small town Texas don't wear masks. Something we found was getting a discount tire certificate. It was, I think, 20 bucks a tire for basically the life of the tires. If we get any holes or anything in them, we can take it to any discount tire and they'll either repair the tire or if they can't, they'll replace it. If you go outside at night in a whole lot of places, a bunch of bugs will fly in if you don't turn off the light. You don't need your air conditioning every single day. But when you do, it's a lifesaver. It's exciting to wake up in a new place every day. Buying a camper van is like buying a house with a mortgage. It's like a 15, 20 year loan and it's, you have a bathroom and a bedroom and a kitchen. So it's basically a house. Get a Kindle or a Nook. Books are big and heavy. French pressed coffee is really good. You can never carry too much water. Don't insult places on social media because someone you know might live there. Heating things with propane is a whole lot easier than heating them electrically. I love my hat. Measure twice, cut once. It's easy to oversleep when you have really good blackout curtains. Tamara sings all the time, whether it's to the dog or music or podcasts. And the final thing we've learned living in the van is that Sharif don't like it. Rockin' the Caspa! Rockin' the Caspa! Sharif don't like it! So that's a hundred things we've learned in the van. Uh, we're going to try to keep posting videos more regularly. And maybe we'll even have a hundred more in a few months. What day do we want to commit to for posting videos? I want to say every Monday, so we have to edit this by Monday. It's Friday. Sure. Okay, we're going to post a new video every single Monday. But we're so busy this weekend with stuff, work. Okay, no, we're not. See you on Monday. I just bought the new Pokemon game. Bye. Bye. Bye.